Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for Something's for Foundations, Cradle of Humanity. I'm Lambda Space, your host. Well, first and foremost, uh, sorry about that. I haven't posted any video in the past uh, two weeks uh, due to some, uh, well, let's say, with uh, weather reasons. Uh, it was uh, way too hot inside to switch to my computer on. On, uh, on play for for extended period of time, so haven't played in the past uh, more than 15 days. Okay, I don't know why. Uh, haven't played in the past 15 days, and uh, I'm back now since uh, about two days, I think. I restart the game, and uh, I'm trying to remember what I was doing. So in the past two days, I went. Uh, to do some uh, analysis on the game and uh, I realized that uh, I have an issue now uh, I don't remember when but uh, I decided to stop uh, the devotees to build uh, or to travel to do some trading inside the ring so I set on my uh, stations to be aggressive once again and destroy those, uh, those Ministry of Finance units uh, factories, stations, whatever and destroy every single uh, Teladis ship I could find those, uh, those uh, trade, uh, trade units. Then I realized that the Teladis are doing absolutely nothing. I mean, there was no trade ship in any of the Teladis uh, sectors. Uh, neither here in Company Regard nor the, the, in, the, in the north. So it means that all those ships went through the, those gates and got destroyed there or anywhere else in the in the sectors. On that uh, wharf here in Company Regard, the Teladis were unable to build a single ship since, well, at least the last two days since I monitored the the wharf in the last two days, and they, they haven't built a single ship in that uh, in that sector. So I had to let the Ministry of Finance uh, rebuild their, their factories and start pumping a new uh, set of uh, trading ship for the Teladis because it looks like the Teladis are unable to build their own ship <sighs> I don't know I don't know what how the, the Ministry of fin the Teladis are able to function without Ministry of Finance it looks like they Ministry of Finance is building some of their ships on the Teladi are building another set of kind of ships, I guess. But the Teladis doesn't build their own trading ship. All the trading ships are built by the Ministry of Finance, which for some reasons insist to keep building their factories, their stations inside 18 billion so the wells. And for that one, they decide to build it at the place where it get uh, hammered by something. I try to find uh, what's uh, shooting at the uh, at the station, but there's nothing. That station I was taking my different station was uh, eating the wharf, but it's not the case. There's nothing from my station shooting at the the the, uh, the wharf, and there is no ship, no enemies around uh, that uh, that wharf. So. It's not supposed to be to be shoot at, but there is something that is destroying the the wharf since uh, it has been built uh, more than uh, I don't know six or seven hours of game time. So very strange. Uh, for the Teladis and for the Ministry of Finance, I decided that I will let the Ministry of Finance build a training ship and see how the Teladis react. If they are able to capture now that the Ministry of Finance are doing, uh, they are doing their their stuff, doing uh, building their their ships, they may be able to capture. It was swing to oh well, as I hope that they are able to do something. For now, it's kind of disappointing. Uh, for the Pyrenees, nothing new. Uh, at some point, uh, I had uh, the HOP. The possibilities to use my wharf on shipyard and uh, after a few hours it was an incredible mess here in Pyosmist 
uh, the sector was uh, completely invaded by uh, HOP units. So uh, if I do if I do give too much stuff to the HOP, they, they will go uh, they will go crazy and uh, will wipe everything. So I just stop the HOP to be able to use my um, my WAF and I, I still don't provide them uh, anything. And uh, that it seems to be able to keep the baronades in check, uh, each other's uh, in check now. So uh, the HOP went here, or uh, has been almost able to destroy that one, but not yet. And the uh, HOP went to inside the Duke's Tempest uh, territory to wreck havoc, but. Uh, Having stopped the uh, HOP to provide HOP ships, uh, it looks like the, the, the Duke's Tempest uh, is, has been able to, uh, to recover uh, the control of their territory. For the rest is it here, there's nothing really new. Uh, HOP is still trying to, to build some, uh, some factories on uh, the Pyrenees that just come on, on destroy them. For the Terrans, uh, I just noticed that the Terrans are sending uh, every couple of hours. They are sending uh, some uh, Asgard. And uh, a few minutes ago, uh, I was uh, in the, in the Agon Prime once again, and I just seen that that, uh, that defense station the destroy or uh, I can't say destroy. It just annihilate uh, an Asgard. It was plain, plain dumb. The Asgard just come close by in, in uh, less than uh, 20 seconds. That the uh, defense station was just shooting uh, uh, plasma, plasma bolt to the uh, Asgard it was destroyed in a very, very few seconds. It was uh, very impressive. Sadly, uh, my setup wasn't ready to to register that uh, that fight. Uh, for the Terrans, uh, for now, it looks like uh, even if I don't help them, they're able to churn more more units than they used to be. So that makes the fight more interesting for the next, uh, well, see the next fight I, I will have with them. I still haven't uh, see or decide when I will do it, but uh, it will be very uh, in the next uh, next week, uh, the week after that. It will depend on how uh, I will be able to, to play on the, the, this week. For the rest, uh, for the north, the Dayak are trying to rebuild some of their station, but the, within that uh, sector, the Wretched Sky is 5, I'm fine with that. For the, the other split, the three families, uh, from time to time, they are trying to build another station, but I have uh, some. Uh, some uh, fleets to take care of that, but nothing big. For the rest, well, there's nothing, nothing going on in the north. Uh, my dream to have the pre families uh, up here in the north and to be able to, to rebuild something, such as uh, that, uh, that equipment dock. But uh, I've seen no trading ship to try to provide them anything, so my guess is uh, it won't be won't be built. Uh, it's nothing new for the rest. As for me, well, nothing. Uh, I haven't tried to accomplish anything for now. Uh, I'm just trying to remember where the game was on the, to try to make it uh, to make it work, especially for the TLD and Ministry of Finance, <coughs> which uh, it is in a dead end for now. And uh, the next step will be, uh, of course, the the runs. And, uh, I don't think I did add. I went here and add some uh, defense uh, modules to some of my stations to make them uh, able to to sustain some damage uh, while I'm uh, fighting my way with uh, my my fleets here toward the uh, the Terrans territory. Uh, yeah, so the next uh, next steps, I must say, uh, in the near future. Uh, for the next game, uh, I try to get the new patch from uh, uh, 
Egosat, my bad. I was thinking to another company, but it wasn't matching. So from Egosat, I tried to, to get the uh, the patch from uh, GOG. And uh, of course, since I'm not using the the GOG uh, clients, such as the uh, same team uh, for Teams, I can't activate that uh, option to have access to the beta, the beta uh, patch. So from a website, it's uh, it's impossible to get the beta uh, version of the game. I just can't access it. I guess I would have to install the GOG, uh, Garden of Galaxy, whatever the, the name of that, that website. Uh, I have to, to install their client uh, on the my machine to be able to access that. And, uh, there's no way that I will do that. I just don't tr trust uh, those kind of services to, with my information um, to have them access my server, my my machine 24/7. Uh, I don't trust them for that. So uh, I won't be able to have that uh, that patch uh, until it has been released by uh, EgoSoft. So. I will wait. Uh, I don't know when the, they will release it. Uh, I hope it will be soon because uh, I went to see the patch uh, note for the last uh, uh, beta, beta 7, uh, hotfix 1, hotfix 2, I don't remember. And uh, the change log is very interesting. There is a lot of new features that uh, I would love to, to test, especially those uh, those custom, uh, custom start. And uh, I haven't got deep into that, but I, I hope that uh, the players will be able to decide which civilization is uh, is at war with uh, with which one. So if I'm able to have a start where the Teladi will be at war with, let's say, the splits, uh, the Dayak and the three families, uh, that would be interesting. It means that, that we have a civilization that. Uh, won't be free to do anything uh, anything they want they will they will have to contend with the split on the free families to to limit their expansion save that they they just go mad and do uh, and conquer everything especially since uh, the the free families get uh, hammered by the xenons in uh, well at least in the, the 3. Uh, 3. x uh, patch level the Xenons were were capturing the world north on the Xenons. The pre families on the Zayak were limited to just a few sectors. Uh, the Teladis were able to snatch from time to time uh, a sector from, from the Xenons, but they were expanding way too fast. Uh, with the Xenons on the pre families at war with the Teladis, that would be more interesting, I think. As for the Terrans, I will set the Terrans at war with the other non-human non factions. Uh, since those guys are xenophobic anyway, uh, they are xenophobic, but they can't get along with the, with the Argon and the Antigone for, for, for historic reasons. They, they are able to go along with the Berenice, which is hated for, by everyone. And they go along with the splits, which is weird since uh, the splits are at war with the Argon, and the splits uh, consider the humans as uh, an inferior race. So, how come? Uh, so, my guess is uh, in, the, in the custom start, I will set the Terrans at war with uh, everything uh, within the, the sectors. It means it will be limited in their actions. And they will encounter more, more frictions, more, more fights uh, that will prevent them to go everywhere with uh, an Asgard and uh, trying to, to kill all the Xenons uh, every time. At least they will uh, encounter, I hope, some, uh, some resistance from uh, other civilizations. Uh, for the pioneers, I don't know what I will do with them. Uh, I barely scratch their... their uh, their story. I uh, may try to do a, a start with them just to see if I could uh, find some information about uh, their, their story uh, from the game, uh, inside the game. 
I must say that I haven't really paid attention to their history within the, the Terran's uh, quest uh, quest lines. I know that uh, they are a part of uh, of the the Terrans, but um, not much. Uh, for what I could see, they are like the free families. They are sending fleets almost everywhere uh, in all sectors. So I uh, just find them quite annoying uh, to see them everywhere, but doing nothing. And they are at war with no one, so uh, they are not, not really that useful. I must say, I don't trade with them, I don't trade with the humans. And uh, I don't see the point of, of those two civilizations, honestly, for now. Uh, I don't know, maybe just me. So, well, I think that's it for this, this video, guys. Uh, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, that will you will get uh, an update from uh, when a new video will be uploaded. And uh, smash that like button, please. Uh, that will help uh, that channel to be promoted within YouTube. And feel free to comment my gameplay down below. Uh, if you have questions, uh, please comment. Uh, I will be happy to, to comment. Until next time, my friends. Nemesis, Sentinel.